How is it going today, Lord? Well, Dwayne. My name's Jasmine. Wait a minute, Jazz. Today we have for you Batman versus Wizard Iron Man. There you go. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm like, wait, he gonna say it, Lord? Hurry up. Death battle. <laughs> okay. Well, look. We finally get to we finally get to put this to bed because we had if you don't follow us, make, first of all like the video and make sure to follow us on social media because we had a war yeah, on Twitter. I just, I just want to see what people said. Like some people said I tweeted it out to start a war, and I was like, I just want to see. Um, but basically, I tweeted out like who would win, like you know, Batman versus Iron Man. And then after that, I was like, okay, so Batman versus Black Panther. But I am on the side of Batman because, mm. no, let, hear me go, out. Go hear ahead, me go out, ahead, go ahead. Batman can fight without the suit. Can Iron Man do that? No. no. He is not trained like Batman is. I have none of that. Hand-to-hand combat. I, I am Iron Man. I'm pretty Hi. sure that... Sorry about the deal. Batman I, will mess up that tech. I have I'm pretty nano, sure. I have nano tech. I'm pretty sure. I have... I, and I have, what else? I have sensory mode. What are you without the suit? Jarvis. What are you without the suit? Leaving there. Playboy. Playboy. You ain't a fighter. You ain't a fighter. Because Batman I don't know, man. No, I'm not about to, we not about to, we're, not, not we're not about to argue in the beginning right. of the video. We're gonna we're gonna set, let this be settled here and now. And then okay, we're we gonna talk about it at the end. If okay. you guys have a reaction, guys, please follow our social media in the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's dive on in, man. <laughs> oh, the battle of the billionaires. Let's yeah. go. Oh, man. Literally. Contingencies for everything, mm -hmm. which is why Bats comes prepared with extra suits for any 
Jesus. Yep. Like his nightfall exosuit to battle pain or the Justice Buster, which mm. is obviously designed to combat the Justice League. Mm -hmm. He even got a final bat suit from his sixth dimensional self that can rewrite your mind. But my favorite is his stylish <laughs> zebra suit, which he wore after getting weird magneto powers. They just made his suit look like this for some reason. There's also the rainbow Batman suit, the suit of sorrows, and of course, so many. the bat nipples. Chicks dig the bat nipples. <laughs> All paid for with the bat credit card. Never leave the cave without it. Mm -hmm. But perhaps his greatest suit of armor, the one designed to put him on the same level of insane mind-bending power as his league teammates, is the hell bat. <laughs> contributed to this monstrous mm -hmm. mech's abilities. <laughs> Boy, does it show! The Hellbat is absolutely hardcore! Made of nanokinetic mesh, it can shapeshift around Batman's body and operates via telepathic link. Mm. It can fly, turn invisible, and <laughs> fire a bat-shaped <laughs> chest laser. And by diverting all the suit's power into his fist, he can use the Devastator, a punch powered by Wonder Woman's strength, and she's strong enough to yank the friggin' Earth around! Oh, he does have a 95% chance of giving old Bats a heart attack. Which he has given himself to save all of Gotham City on at least one occasion. It's that level of insane drive that pushed him to use the Hellbat in his one-man invasion of Apocalypse <laughs> in order to bring his son back to life. You know, Apocalypse, home to the god of evil himself, yep. Darkseid. Batman stared down the final boss of DC Comics and actually kicked his ass. Mm -hmm. This is incredible, considering Darkseid is a being strong enough to destroy entire universes and yeah. fast enough to fly to the edge of the universe in seconds. Since the DC universe mm. is significantly larger than our own, that would be over 600 quintillion Damn. times Damn. the speed of light. Oh. That same Darkseid avatar even took a Shoryuken from Alan Scott, who mm -hmm. was amped up from the energy of the multiverse. And Bats cleaned his clock just as hard. But this incalculable strength is drawn from Batman's own life force, mm -hmm. specifically his metabolism. Mm. Should any fight with the Hellbat go on too long, Batman may succumb to his hunger before finishing the fight himself. Mm -hmm. Or absorb someone else's biomass for fuel. That mm. works too. So basically, you'd have to be completely batshit insane to pilot this thing. And Bats, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry to break it to you, but the grown man that wears his underwear on the outside isn't all there. He's a little insane. Keeping with being a perfectionist, though, he's completely aware of this. That's why he does not <laughs> kill. Because if he did, he understands that he can't mm. trust himself to know when to stop. Mm -hmm. Batman is outsmarted the nigh-omniscient Metron, defeated his dark counterpart, the Batman who laughs, and humiliated Superman in a one-on-one -on -one fight. No, wait, that one's not canon. That one he say. definitely had help. <laughs> yeah, that one. Although many of his greatest accomplishments have been aided by his exceptional prep work and foreknowledge, he's mm -hmm. no stranger to being put on the spot even in the face of Armageddon. Mm -hmm. Who else would kick the specter, the angel of wrath, God's divine judgment in the <laughs> face, and then tell him to get the hell out of his city? I'll tell you who. Get out of my city. Get out of my city. Get out of my city. Over the course of his long 
long career as a Make founding Felicia. member of the Avengers, mm -hmm. he has constructed dozens of different models, which he can call to him at once like a literal one. House party model. protocol, baby. Most of his armors <laughs> come with the same basic toolkit: super strength, massively hypersonic flight, mm -hmm. and repulsor blast. Repulsors are extremely dense beams of muons, unstable oh, subatomic particles <laughs> into electrons. They're actually really interesting to see. They're classified as leptons, which don't have any known substructures. Just sort of like have a home buying goal. It's a laser. Just suck the fun out of it. <laughs> <laughs> His armors also come with onboard AI. Yeah. Like Friday, which can hack into enemy technology, command his other suits to fight uh -oh. remotely, and mm -hmm. operate down to the picosecond. That's one trillionth of a second. Even outdated armors are strong enough to blow up a chunk of rock as big as Manhattan. By taking a look at its speed, Tony's armor would have had to be hidden with an energy of nearly 300 teratons of TNT. Sheesh. And three times stronger than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. Years spent defending the Earth has conditioned Tony to be prepared for any threat imaginable. And he has an armor for almost any occasion. He's got an armor to bust bolts, an armor to bust doors, an mm -hmm. armor that can turn intangible, a super tiny armor that can mess with your insides, and an <laughs> armor made of white sticky alien goo. It's in Yo Su, yes, superior Iron Man, yes. Mm -hmm. Flexible as in possible, Sim. though, his standard go-to is the Model Prime. It has all the classic Iron Man staples and has even incorporated size changing for extra strength, mm -hmm. an invisible stealth mode, and a badass lightning samurai sword. Oh, wow. Say what you want about <laughs> a smug son of a bitch, but he's definitely got style and crippling alcoholism. But look who's talking. <laughs> likely that same devil may care attitude that led to tony revealing his secret identity to the world which i guess had no consequences look whiz when you build a space laser strong enough to wipe out alien fleets in one shot i don't think the mandarin is going to interrupt your swarm of <laughs> that space laser is a dyson sphere a speculative superstructure that is meant to encircle an entire star and harness its energy. Sheesh. Something only possible by a theoretical Type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale. It's basically when your galaxy brained enough to draw power from the entire solar system. I know it's comics, but the fact that Tony just has one of these lying around is right. insane. Known mm -hmm. as Soul's Hammer, Tony's incomplete sphere is strong enough to destroy a planet at only a 2% charge. Didn't you work on one of those? I remember you talking about how it'd solve your student loan problems once and for all. <laughs> on behalf of the families of several planets that no longer exist, I'm not legally at liberty to discuss that. Years of protecting the world from aliens, gods, and even his friends. All of that mm -hmm. stuff wore Tony down and turned him into the one thing he promised himself he would never become. A narc. Siding with the U.S. government's enforcement of the Superhuman Registration Act, yep. Yep. Civil War. A civil war yep, him versus Cat. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be his last. Though it did huh. prove he could hang with the best of them. He's beaten Captain America in hand to hand combat, survived mm -hmm. blows from Thor, and even took down the World Breaker Hulk. He even matched Ooh. Magneto. Magneto, the guy that controls metal, the thing that surrounds Tony's entire body, him, right. by <laughs> amplifying his power with Jupiter's magnetic field. And then Mag punched him with the power of the sun, and it was like, no big deal. There really doesn't seem to be a limit to how insane Tony's tech gets. Mm. In the movies, this is the same guy that figured out time travel just sitting around one evening. In the yep. time, they <laughs> down a beer. Tony's already shattered the laws of physics. Yeah, sure, go to the Middle Ages and play nights with Dr. Doom, you scam. Perhaps his greatest invention of all, however, was the Escape, an entire virtual universe where the only I limit it. is his imagination. And because Tony's nothing if not predictable, he made an armor out of it. That's right, wow. he made an armor out of a universe. This virtual okay. armor is composed of solid holograms that can form any weapon Tony can think of. But even mm. it likely cannot compare to the armor Tony created inside the Escape, mm. the Godbuster. Yes! Saiyan. The Godbuster was so powerful it destroyed the entire Escape in a single blast. Oh my along god! With the AI controlling all of it. An earlier iteration of the Godbuster was able to stand up to celestials, cosmic gods that can mm. warp reality, like know. Galactus, <laughs> Odin, <laughs> and Franklin, who mm. can threaten the multiverse with their power. So it lives up to the friggin' name, in case you were wondering. But it isn't that kind of power that makes Tony special. After a life spent wallowing in vice.
sacrifice and pleasure, Tony rebuilt himself into a man he could be Very proud man. of. Someone who could sacrifice everything to save the world. Mm. I suppose underneath it all, that man of iron had a heart of gold. You want my property? You can't have it. But I did you a big favor. I have successfully privatized world peace. <laughs> Bring it back, baby. Please, Tony. Oh, no. Please, RDJ. <laughs> Run the data through all possibilities. Oh, like, it ends here, Jazz. I know. You want you want Iron Man to win so bad. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Hey, bats. Now, <clears throat> I can respect a man with a healthy sense of paranoia and billions to spare, but Steve and Nat are really up my ass about this. <laughs> Take the watchtower offline now. Nah. You don't want this fight, Tony. It'll be the biggest mistake of your life. Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. Clark, do you read me? The watchtower is being attacked. Seriously, Bats? I figured out hacking in the second grade. How do you think I got in here? There you go, going to Sabo. I thought we were grown ups here. Yeah. Oh, that's raw power. 
power and speed absolutely dwarfed the majority of Iron Man's arsenal, and could have killed him immediately were it not for Tony's own trump cards. Hmm. Like the Godbuster, which was definitely strong enough to contend with it. The Hellbat can take on Darkseid, but a weaker version of the Godbuster could hold its own against Celestial. Darkseid was a being capable of threatening the multiverse with his power and moving many times faster than light, but the Celestials were capable of the same. With an armor that strong, Tony could buy himself enough time to break out all his other tricks, mm -hmm. like sneaking nano armors into Batman's body, phasing through him with ghost tech, draining the Hellbat's power, or just hacking his suit and shutting it off. And with an army of armors at his beck and call, Tony could certainly hold Batman off long enough to employ those strategies. Help, since he can control them remotely, he <laughs> technically didn't even need to be there and put himself in harm's way. Yeah. And remember, the Hellbat used Batman's own life force as a battery. He needed to end the fight quick or else his own armor would kill him mm -hmm. first. With Tony throwing an army at him, he didn't have a good way of doing that. Tony just had way too much shit to throw at Batman, while Batman didn't have the time or options he needed to keep up. I guess. Batman may have been a god among men, but Iron Man's wealth of gadgets, insanely powerful tech, and greater mechanical experience allowed him to crush the Cape Crusader. You might think it's an injustice that Batman's gonna need avenging, but Iron Man was in a whole nother league. The winner is Iron Man. Oh, oh, oh. Goku Black versus Goku Black versus Reverse Flash. Mm. What? Mm. If Goku Black lose How that. How's that gonna go? Boy, Reverse Flash a dog. I mean, but so is. So is Goku, Goku Black. 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 But Reverse Flash a dog. He is. He's he's kind of a he's kind of a problem. Yeah. He's, he's a big problem. Let's talk about the real problem in the room. The All elephant right. in the room. Go ahead. I can accept the feet. I am Iron Man. I can accept the feet. I just wish that he would have, like, I don't know. I don't know, So what, what, So what What do you think? What do you think? I, I'm saying I guess because of the amount of, like, suits that Iron Man has. But at least they did mention if it was one-to-one -one without them suits. Oh, yeah. Iron yeah. Man loses. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd say. But. He, he doesn't know 127 hand-to-hand, -hand, you know. He does not. Uh, Tony, like, he doesn't, he's a, you know, but he's so smart that he, you know, he could, you know, remember uh, Civil War when he was fighting Cap? And he was giving Cap them hands, and it was like Friday. Mm -hmm. Analyze Steve's, uh, you know, fighting, you know, maneuver tactics. Mm -hmm. And then she just did like, I oh, got it, and then he just, doo -doo. Mm. Iron Man's got a lot of assistance. He do. I, he can't be mad at him. That's why he's a billionaire. And I'm saying that he won. I'm yeah. saying that he won, and he requires a lot of assistance in order to win. That's what sure, I'm saying. Sure does. Hey, win or win, baby. Let's go, Iron Man! <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, comment below. Let's think. Don't forget to like and share. Support.